This week, CMP responds to sailors' concerns about proposed BAH changes, an essay contest for sailors carrying a $3,000 prize, and clips from my interview with the chair of this year's Joint Women's Leadership Symposium. All right, first, I know that many of you have heard that the Senate Armed Service Committee has a proposal that has the potential to affect the ability of dual military families to draw BAH for each service member. This has caused some concern. Many of you wrote us at USM People or shared concerns on social media, and CMP wanted to address these concerns. But thanks to your feedback and the comments that are very instructive, uh, we've included that in our formal response, many of those comments in our formal response to Congress. And they'll have a chance to consider that before they make any formal vote on the uh, authorizations bill. So I just want you to know we've got it back here, uh, and you can be assured that we'll continue to watch out for your interests. And uh, in the meantime, stay focused in the fleet, stay focused on your mission and on being safe, and we'll keep you informed as this thing progresses. Now, this week is the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium. This is a forum for military leaders to share their knowledge, network, and discuss the challenges affecting the fleet. And these discussions are very influential. Last year, when CMP was at the symposium, he heard sailors voice the need for expanded CDC hours, more maternity leave, and more access to gyms. And last month, in SECNAV's personnel announcement, it included all those initiatives. So this week, I spoke with Lieutenant Commander Rosie Gashinsky to talk about what to look for this year. So this year, um, we focused on progress and possibilities, embrace our future now. And what that is uh, focused on is the integration of women into all billets in the Navy, specifically into all operational forces as well as special forces. And we want to understand the impacts as well as moving forward, uh, the kinds of things that we can do to move, it, move ourselves forward down, down the court, so to speak. And you can watch the full interview on Navy Live. Next up, the Naval Institute has an essay contest open to all enlisted sailors. You can win $3,000 for first place. The theme is broad, any topic that makes the naval profession stronger, 1,500 words. Winning entries will also be published, so this is a great opportunity to bring attention to an issue or an idea that's important to you and earn a little recognition. So think about it, you have plenty of time, the deadline is Halloween. Last episode we got some great questions in the comments and we responded to them, so keep them coming, the comments section is open for business. Now that's it for the Chief of Naval Personnel. I'm MC108 Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.